Today, we're going to first talk a little bit about the history of training. I think it's important for you guys to understand why we train the way we do and why others train the way they do. Um, most all of us here, I mean, all of us here, you wouldn't be here unless you were a clicker trainer, um, but not everybody is a clicker trainer. And I think it's important that we understand where training came from and the history that got us here today. I'm going to go over some definitions. Not everybody is going to have the same definitions that I do, so I want to make sure that when I refer to something, you understand my definition of that. We're going to practice some handler mechanics. Handler mechanics is probably one of the most important things in clicker training, and people, uh, even people who are advanced clicker trainers or who have been doing clicker training for a long time, oftentimes their mechanics start to degrade. And so we are going to do a lot of work with your mechanics today and make sure that those are up to par. Uh, then we're going to do some exercises where we actually apply some of the techniques that you're going to learn about. I have some planned exercises and behaviors for you. I also um, uh, am going to give you guys time to work on individually chosen behaviors that maybe you're working on now or maybe you want to get started on. Um, and then a lot of, again, what we're going to do today is to prepare for tomorrow's workshop as well. You are going to choose a prop, either a cup, a plate, or a tube. Please limit yourself to these three props for this exercise. They're all up there. I would like you to choose a behavior that you are going to shape with your dog. Determine the first criteria. If you can, determine your other criteria shifts. Keep notes if you'd like. When you're done, I'd like you to get the dog to repeat the behavior as often, as many times as you can. Okay? So if the behavior is put your muzzle in the bowl, touch the bottom of the bowl, I want you to see how many times you can get the dog to go put his nose in the bowl. Okay? Now you can, you don't have to free shape this. You can walk her right over it and then click when she hits that with a rear foot just to give her a head start. Good. Okay. And then just step forward. Yeah, call her to you. Have her come with you. Tell her come on. Click. Good. Do so you see how she lifted her foot to go over it? You had a nicely timed click right when that happened. See, she knows it has something to do with that. So bring her forward. Click. Good. Click. Click. Good job. These little mishaps are going to help her understand what it has, what it has to do with that. Click. Yay! Good job. So, uh, platform training requires that you first shape the dog to the platform standing all four feet. And as we've talked about earlier, there's several pieces of criteria that works towards the end behavior. You're not going to wait until the dog plops himself all four feet on the platform before you click. First step possibly is just looking at the platform again, just as we did with the target sticks, and then building to all four feet on that single platform. Uh, we use the term magnetize the dog to the platform, and what that means is that as soon as the platform appears and is put on place, that's the cue to get onto the platform. And it is difficult to get the dog off sometimes. That uh, if you try, for many of these dogs who are magnetized to the platform, if you tried to pick up the platform with them on it, they would resist getting off the platform. They really would resist getting off the platform. So when he comes in, go ahead and cue him to stand. If you have a stand cue, click. And then feed low. Just pop him out. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Good boy. Feed several times in a stand. Good. Go ahead and toss again. Clicking way late, you're waiting till she's all the way off and past. I want you to click when she's here. I want you to slow her down. Okay, click. Good. Good. Let's get you Ginger. Ginger, can you grab another clicker for Diane? Good. Whoa! Good. Toss out here. Good. Now, here she comes. Click. Good. Good. And that's fine. Toss again. Okay? All right. Shaping distance. Um, go outs. Uh, go outs 
Are, uh, for how many of you have competed in obedience? Familiar with the term go out? All right, go out in the competition obedience ring is where the dog has to go to the opposite side of the ring. You call their name and cue them to sit, and they need to sit out at that position. So they aren't allowed to come forward, and they have to go directly away from you, not necessarily to anything at this point. So I just place the target on the ground. I just stand. He touches the target. I think he has a paw touch instead of a nose touch. And I don't know, can you hear the clicker there? He's very fast, isn't he? And this type of thing you might need to use a mirror to as well. And do you notice I'm taking a step back? I'm not moving the target. 